Hey everybody, it's Co Kids Coding, and welcome back to another video. And we are finally back with more HTML videos after two years since I've been making them, when I was in about 5th or 6th grade. But yeah, now here I am with more videos, and we are going to get started right back on track with HTML with HTML symbols. What we can do in HTML is that we can display symbols by following a code. These symbols we normally can't do on the keyboard, so we're going to have to code with HTML to do it. Each symbol follows two unique codes that when you type it, it will display. The two kinds of codes are the number and the entity. So let's get started by reviewing how we should make an HTML page. So by doing this, we can just start with HTML and then let's start it off with Let's not do a body for now, and let's just say this is my first website. By the way, this is like kind of like the first video I did. <coughs> if you don't, if you haven't checked that out, this is kind of a recap of that first video I did on the introduction to HTML. So be sure to go check that out. I will put that at the end of the video, or you could check it on by clicking the I on the top right hand corner. So this is the most basic form of an HTML page. So now let's save it into the coding folder and let's put it all files and then let's type it HTML symbols dot HTML. Make sure you put dot HTML just like a Python dot Python so that it recognizes that you're doing it in HTML. So now let's save it and let's go to our files and let's reopen it. And as you see, it has displayed, this is my first website. So that was a recap of the first video I did on the introduction to HTML. But So now let's get started with what we're actually learning, which is to how to display unique kinds of symbols that you can't do on your keyboard. So let's make a body to start our body paragraph. And then let's form a page. And let's say I will display, let's say we'll start off with the currency. So there are, many different types of symbols that you can place for example the ones that i'll be covering in this video are currency greek letters directions and card symbols and more like that so first i'll talk about currency so as you know in the european places they use euro so we can hdmo will allow us to display the euro currency so we can use either one we can use the entity which is just euro with the semicolon and then make sure you remember to close it with the page or we can do it with the number and then let's just say I will display and then let's say the number 8364 both are pretty much the same way oh I did a colon it's a semicolon both are the same it's just They'll both do the same thing. So you, so they're interchangeable. You can use either one. This is, this is the entity, and this is the no. The this is the number. The eight three six four is the number, and the euro is the entity. So then let's close it with a body, and then an HTML. Make sure you do this, otherwise it won't work. And then let's save it, and let's go to our page, and let's reload it. And as you see, it displays the euro. They're both the same kind of code. One is just with the entity and the other one is with the number. So that is one kind of currency you can display. You can also display other kind of currencies, I believe. I'm going to give it a go. Like, I think we can, like, let's say, like, yen or something like that. And then let's close it like that. And then let's do that. And now let's save it. And then let's go here. Let's reload it. Yep, and it does. And it displays the yen. So that's pretty much it with currencies. The next kind of things we're going to learn is the mathematical symbols, like pi and an empty set. So as you know, pi is an, it's just an infinite number. So let's say, so the symbol for pi, the entity for pi, is just prod with a semicolon. We, let's, just, let's just cut out the I will display, and let's just keep it with prod. And then close it like that. And then let's save it and see if it will work. And as you see, it displays pi. And 
so it's all it is is just you find the unique code of the specific um, symbol and then once you type it in it will display it and type it in as a page so that it can show and then um, let's say we, we can also do an empty set an empty set is just a set that's just empty so empty semicolon and let's save that I'm using the entity because the entity is a lot easier when it comes to the number it's a lot harder to memorize in my opinion and as you see the empty set shows up we can even show we can even try with the number the number works too so let's do a hashtag and then try um, 8709 I believe is the number for it yep indeed it is save it control s load it and it still shows that so those are two mathematical symbols there are a lot more mathematical symbols but those are just two I wanted to show up so next are the Greek letters so Greek letters alpha beta theta and so on those are just Greek letters that are mostly used in like geometry and stuff so um, let's get started um, well, I'll do alpha for this and then let's do it and then let me copy it and paste it remember you can do the um, entity or the number I'm doing the entity for now and then let's say beta so these are two examples of Greek symbols HTML is able to recognize Greek symbols so let's save it and give it a reload and then alpha and beta are both right there okay um, then you have the copyright sign HTML is also able to recognize the copyright sign so let's say copy semicolon hashtag 169 and then semicolon remember they're the same thing I'm just showing the demonstration of the number and the entity and they both show the copyright symbol so these are just the types of symbols that HTML will be able to recognize there are lots of symbols out there I'm just giving a few for examples and then we can also do directions like up down left and right it is able to display those two so the entity for those for um, L A R R I believe let me try saving that and reloading yeah it will be left for L A R and then U A R R is up is up and then and then R A R R is right and then D A R R is down and then make sure all codes end in a semicolon always even if they're numbers or entities always end in a semicolon and then let's reload it up down uh, no, left up right and down so yeah those are just the way I remember it are the first letters of every one L left U up R right D down and it shows it and then last but the not least are the card symbols you can display the card symbols I'm displaying two so if you don't know card symbols spades hearts diamonds and clubs so um we can display spades and then let's do a semicolon and then let's get rid of this and then we could do diamonds too So both pretty much work and then reload it and it will show spades and diamonds. I can also show you the number, the number code, which is just for diamonds. I believe the number code is just 9830 and then for 
spades, I believe it's 98.24. Let me just check and see if I'm right. And indeed, I'm right. So those are pretty much the different types of symbols that HTML can recognize. And that is just pretty much it. All the symbols there are. Remember, these symbols can be recognized by HTML. And they display them, and usually they are not... They cannot be done on the keyboard, so these are how it's done. So I hope you like this video, and click a like, and be sure to subscribe for more notifications on this channel.